Hello and welcome. This is Neldrin and today, let's discuss the Mirror Involution event and other many events that are ongoing together with the said main event. First, let's discuss the many events and important things to remember during this event. Mirror Involution will run from May 27th to June 9th. If this is your first event, playing the event maps is highly advisable because the siren enemies will give you more experience and the event points you will earn can be used to buy items in the event shop. More details later about the shop. Additionally, complete B3 or D3 stage multiple times to unlock additional cutscenes which can be replayed in your memories tab. For intermediate and long time players, you already know these but just in case, you can skip the A and B maps. Speedrun the C and D maps, so that you can unlock the SP map immediately. You can do the 3 star later on. SP map will give you 800 event points once a day so make sure not to forget it. Similar to previous events, Little Enterprise will also have a friendship meter that is needed to fill up before you can own her. Double friendship points if you will sortie her with your main fleet. But since we will be grinding for event points, there is no need to bring her. Another mini event is the Manju Creamery where you will design your own ice cream once you reach a certain milestone. But who cares about that, we only care about the rewards in Saratoga's cute skin. Lastly, we have Manju Land where you can upgrade to get bonus EXP, increase damage, and reduce training class hours. It's up to you which one to level up first. In my case, I am prioritizing the bonus EXP. I don't need the extra damage because I already have strong ships and the reduced tactical class is not really helpful for me since I'm not rushing any skills to level up at the moment. There are purchasable items in the souvenir shop. You can buy everything if you are logging in daily and doing the daily missions. You should play Cake Defender daily so that you can unlock any ships from the following. You will also get a useless letter from them, so if you're into it, you will choose your waifu. But for me, I need an extra Otago for limit breaking. Similar to most event maps, your fleets are restricted with tile movement and there are siren enemies that will roam and engage your fleet. There will be submarines in all of the maps and there are plenty of them. If the level of your fleet is lower or the same as the enemy, better bring at least one destroyer with ASW equipment. But if you will use all your overleveled ships, enemy submarines are not an issue. To all maps, there are buffs and debuffs to your Sakura Empire and Eagle Union ships. It is negligible to be honest. I didn't even know about this when I played earlier. Only when I wrote this script did I find out that there is this status. At B, D and SP maps, Helena Meta will provide some support barrage. And lastly, the Siren Sea Fog will not let you know which type of enemy you will engage and there is also a slight debuff to your ship's accuracy. This is something you shouldn't be intimidated about. But if they include this feature on stage 12 and 13, I think it will be terrifying especially to those who haven't completed it. And if you want more guides like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We first take a look at our new UR ship, New Jersey. Similar to Shinano, we will have a pity system where you need a minimum of 200 pulls to get her guaranteed. At least no one will cry losing to a 50-50. Ah before I forget. Once you get her, make sure that you will take a screenshot and post it in your social media. Better if you will add a caption, with a hashtag, free to play, by the way. And of course, having her is not enough. Make sure to buy that skin. So bring out your cash, to get that 2DS. <laughs> Let's check her skills. Her red skill is a guaranteed barrage when main guns fire. Additionally, 10 seconds at the start of the battle, this barrage will fire. Think of it as a better Warspite barrage. The barrage pattern looks like a combined Richelieu and Warspite skill. 
It is not affected by flagship position, so there's already flexibility using her in the fleet. Though it is not mentioned, it also has armor break which can stack with other armor break, similar to Valiant Yellow skill. This is ridiculous given how strong the skill already is. Next is her yellow skill which will reduce the spread of her salvos, making her shots more accurate, which will make her more devastating. This skill also offers a support barrage similar to Tosa and Shinana. However it is not restricted to 3rd to 5th battle. This is great, her supporting barrage is better. Lastly this skill will also buff the other fleet's carriers if it has an Eagle Union as the flagship. Her other yellow skill is Firepower and Reload buff to herself. AA and Defense buff to other Eagle Union ship in the fleet. And Firepower buff to Eagle Union battleships in the fleet. Next is... Next is Archerfish. The first time I saw her, I really thought it was white-haired Nagatoro-san. With increased damage to heavy armored opponents, which is most of the enemies at later stages, plus the crit damage, torpedo and accuracy buff to her and other American subs. I think she and the combination of Albacore and Kavala will be a good alternative if you haven't owned any of the German subs yet. I'm not totally convinced yet that they will replace the wolf pack, because although the crit damage is absurd, if you don't have a good crit chance, then it's nothing. If you want more consistency, go with the wolf pack. But if you want a chance for higher damage, go with American subs with Archerfish. Next is, San Francisco. Next is San Francisco. She got a good barrage that activates every 10 seconds. Well deserved to have those stars because you are very good. Very good in a sense that she's one of the most flexible ship to have in your vanguard. She can be a tank, a healer or an offensive ship that also buffs her teammates. Next is. Wait a minute, this is Essex isn't it? Oh. Her VA seems familiar. Let me check a minute. Ticonderoga skills are straightforward and strong. An additional airstrike and aviation boost just like her sister. Additional tankiness, plus a shield for your frontmost vanguard. Up next is Boise. Toxins going up. The red skill is good, having a targeted special barrage plus the additional damage to heavy armor enemies. Her yellow skill is strong especially if you are starting out to mid-levels where enemy damage is insignificant. You can abuse the added firepower. However, at later stages she's mid. I mean her strength is very conditional on how you can maintain her health. Her self-heal is great, but this is not enough to reactivate her self-buffs. Lastly, Morrison. I'm pretty sure I've seen her somewhere, but my mind is kinda messing with my memory. If Ranger is RNG, then Morrison is Moe. I also don't know what the shit I'm saying. Nothing really special about her except for the fact that she's carrying Bear Guy San. Kuma -chan. Sorry, I mean, Kumachan. Her blue skill might sound nice, but if you look closely, it sucks. Firepower and AA buff sure is nice. But considering her low numbers on the set attributes, then it's useless. But how about the ASW buff for the entire fleet? If you play long enough, you will realize that enemy submarines don't really do much. When the boss is a submarine is the only time you need to bring ASW gear, but even the crappiest equipment will work on them. Unless the upcoming stage 14 will have strong enemy submarines, then there's no need for you to concern yourself about ASW. I almost forgot that the retrofit for independence is now available. As you've heard from others, she's an improved version of Casablanca. She got better efficiency than Centaur, 
however she got an AA gun, instead of an additional fighter with lower efficiency. I'm not sure if this is good or not. What are your thoughts about her? Let me know in the comments section. But all in all, I always look forward to her retrofit, other than Renown. Finally I can use her at later stages. For the event shop, prioritize getting the rainbow gun, because this is not farmable to any maps, and this is the only way you can get this gun. This is stronger than the other rainbow gun, but a little bit slower. Ticonderoga is optional. Only buy her if you haven't got her in your daily build and cannot farm D3. Especially since she's not rated up at the event pool. Once you already have the event exclusive items, I suggest buying the PR blueprints if you're intermediate or long time player. And buy gold gear boxes if you are just starting out to have strong gears at the start. For farming. The A stage have good ships to have for beginners. Only Hiryu and Saratoga are my recommended ships to farm. Hiryu because she's one of the best PvP carrier to have, even without the help of Suryu. And Saratoga is one of the best carrier to have for starters. You can also farm the twin 410mm for barrage spamming ships, like Hood, Nelson and Rodney. Don't forget to get Arizona here as a requirement to get the Pearls tier in collection. For B maps, Helena, Cleveland and Unicorn are my recommended ships to farm. Also Ticonderoga, but expect she has a very low drop rate. Unicorn is one of the best healer in the game. Helena is a great support because of her debuff to enemies. And Cleveland is another good support ship with a good AA. For C maps, by this time you already have the following ships or probably better than them, so no need to farm for ships here. For equipment, C1 has the most farmable equipment to have. C2 for the gold steam catapult, and C3 is skippable. For D maps, although Hellcat at D2 is good to have, I highly advise farming D3 because of the washing machine. This item is only obtainable via research, so having this as a drop is a huge help for us. This is one of the best auxiliary for your vanguard so if you can complete D3, make sure to farm this map. To summarize. We have multiple ongoing events, but if you are actively playing, all of them will progress simultaneously. Take note of the added stage features such as enemy submarines, buffs and debuffs to certain factions and Helena meta barrage. We got only one collection tier ship here. And not much you can farm from other maps, so that you can focus on farming the washing machine. I hope that you will get your new jersey, because she is too damn strong. And don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. You guys are awesome and see you next time.